20th of March 2014, a team of Year 7s pupils, pupils welcomed the new Year 7s for September. It was a fabulous evening and the new Year 7s lead lots of the good things to happen. The new Year 7s enjoyed having the experience to be in Year 7 and loved the food so much. They were so excited for when they come to Shington High School. Thank you for listening. The preparation leading up to the evening was very much. We had plenty of rehearsals and every rehearsal we had lots of fun and joy while getting ready for the welcome evening. The Year 7 welcome evening was a really big hit and everybody really enjoyed it. I talked about ambassadors and the things I like about Shevington. Thank you for listening. Hi, it's me, Courtney. Um, I think the welcome evening went really well because we all had so much fun and me and Lennon Boardman did the drama one and it was really good. And it was a big success and I also talked about fair trade and asked everyone to buy fair trade products to help the farmers in other countries. Thank you for listening. On the evening I was talking about Pupil of the Week and how you get a mug. Hey! Hey! Hi! Um, on Thursday we were talking about blog teams for the New Year 7s that are coming up this year. After that we went into the canteen and tried some great food. All the parents and the students were able to talk to uh, our Year 7 about anything and the staff and all of the Year 7's work was laid out so they could have a look through it. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Bye. Last Thursday, four pupils got chosen to interview four people to be our new music teacher. Sadly, Mr. Longdon is leaving after the Easter holidays. The, all, the, all the candidates were nice and we are sure to have a nice music teacher. Thanks for listening and bye. On Friday, we will be having a street sleep in the maths box for all Year 7 pupils. Joining us will be the head teacher, Miss Douglas, and Miss Harwood, our lead tutor, as well as maybe the maths teachers and a few others. We are doing this in support of the Brick Homeless Charity, and our aim is to try and raise enough money to give a thousand dollars to or thousand pounds to them. Also, we will be having the street sleep in the maths box. So we'll be sleeping in the classrooms with only either a duvet and pillow or a sleeping bag with us and we won't be allowed any technology apart from our phones so we get a taste of what it's like to be homeless. We would be doing it on the street but of course we can only do that until we're 16 so we're doing it in the maths block instead. We'll be arriving at 8pm and then going home at 8am so that's 12 hours in a maths block with the teachers. We'll be having a light breakfast and an evening snack but other than that we'll be feeling what it's like to be homeless for the night so we're looking forward to it on Friday. It will be happening on Friday the 25th of April. Bye! Hello, my name is David and this is Joel and we're going to talk about uh, the sports relief news and our new rugby teacher. On 21st of March, Shevington High School ran one mile to sport relief. Also, 250 primary students ran, ran, took part in the event. Year 7s took part in running one mile. 10 girls and boys who came first got a medal and got their picture taken. The school raised £500 for charity. In PE, a Wigan Warriors coach is teaching us rugby. I think it is a really good chance for us to experience what rugby is like in the big leagues. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Our winner of People of the Week this week is Ellie Addison. I'm very happy that I got People of the Week this week because of my screening.